What you need to do is start at the top of the page because she's quite a tall character. So I start with her head with little lines. And there's the head. And charcoal's lovely because you can do a bit of a shade. And if you make a mistake, you can just sort of rub it out, which is always good. Give her some eyes. And give her some little cheeks. Like that. Cute little mouth. Now, inside his neck. So, should I draw a big round body? No. No? <laughs> oh, a stick body. Yeah, a stick body. I do. Okay. Here she is. She's very, very tall, isn't she? That's why I have to start up the top. Now, this character has six. I include arms when I say six because I've, been, I've drawn a walking upright stick insect for her. Idea. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. And she has cute little boots, <laughs> just like stick insects do. Right? <laughs> Next thing I was going to draw is <clears throat> she's got little pigtails, yeah, little ears. So they're made of leaves because she's a camouflaged character. So I'll we'll just pop her ears on, do a little bit of shading like that. There she goes. And what else does she need? What have I forgotten? Um, you forgot to not. You, you forgot to do stuff early. Any ideas? She needs antennas. Yeah, she needs antennas. And then, one, two. Okay. You need to get on that one. You need to get one curl. A curl. That's a good idea. That'd be a nice touch. She does have curly antennas in some of the pictures, especially when she's when she's mistaken for a hat stand. She's a bit curly, isn't she? We give her a bit curl down here. She has, she, she has, she has trim raw, you know, so you look in the picture. Oh, I was drawing her a little bit different to the picture, wasn't I? Well, we could add a little few curls. There we go. Wait a minute. Now she's got super long, longer arms than normal. <laughs> <laughs> like a vine. <laughs>